Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about six pedagogical mistakes that we can make with using AI tools. So if you're interested in hearing about what are the six pedagogical mistakes that we can make when we're using AI tools, then please keep on watching. Okay, so one of the reasons why I released this book last June, AI Powered Pedagogy Redefining Education, was because I could see see some educators using AI tools that wasn't focusing on deep conceptual understanding or enhancing learning and that they were using AI tools in a way that did not adopt effective pedagogical approaches. So today I'm going to be discussing six different pedagogical mistakes that you can make when you're using any AI tool. And the first mistake that I've seen teachers discussing is using AI tools to generate inane worksheets. So the worksheets normally include 100 questions, they're drill and kill, they normally ask very low level order thinking type of questions. And I don't think that that's great use of AI tools. So the first pedagogical mistake that I think we can make when we're using any kind of AI tool is to use the AI tool to generate inane worksheets that require a lot of low order thinking from our students. Now, the second mistake that we can make when we're using any AI tool is to ask the AI tool to generate any kind of standardized test, such as multiple choice questions. And I think standardized testing does not reflect the true talent and strengths of each of our students and our individual learners. So it's really important that we don't use AI tools to just generate standardized multiple choice questions or tests. Now, the third pedagogical mistake that I've actually seen is using an AI tool to find the answers to mathematics questions and problems. Now, the AI tools that are really popular with students are normally the large language models. And we know that all large language models have a tendency to hallucinate. You have to check the facts. There needs to be human oversight. And the purpose of any large language model is not to find the answer to mathematics problems. So that's the third mistake, using AI tools to solve math problems. Now, the fourth problem is about using AI tools as a tutor in your class or as a tutor in general. For me, I think using AI as a tutor really takes away the exploration and the inquiry-based learning environment that we want to encourage our students to be immersed in. And I think using AI as a tutor also takes away that collaboration and the importance of social skills when we're trying to creatively problem solve or when we're trying to build those very important social skills such as teamwork and collaboration. So the fourth pedagogical mistake that we can make when using any AI tool is to use an AI tool as a tutor, a one-to-one -one tutor. The fifth pedagogical mistake is to use AI tools to generate long, boring lectures. So I've seen lots of different tools where you can generate lengthy PowerPoint lectures and that really follows a traditional transmission mode of delivery when it comes to learning. And we don't want to be just delivering and transmitting information to our students. We want our students to collaboratively construct their own understanding and meaning through an inquiry-based learning environment. And so the fifth pedagogical mistake, again, is don't use AI tools to generate long, boring lectures. And the sixth pedagogical mistake is using AI tools to create teacher-centered learning experiences and lessons. We really want to encourage a focus on the student. We want to promote a learner-centered and learner-driven environment, which will ultimately then lead to learner agency. And using AI tools to design teacher-centered lessons just does not give the students ownership and agency over their learning. So they're my six pedagogical mistakes. Let me just go through them. The first pedagogical mistake when using any AI tool is to generate inane worksheets. The second pedagogical mistake when we're using any AI tool is to use the AI tool to generate standardized low order thinking tests and assessments. The third pedagogical mistake when we're using any AI tool is to use the tool to generate and find answers to math problems. The fourth pedagogical mistake is to use AI as a one-to-one -one tutor for learning. 
The fifth pedagogical mistake is to use an AI tool to continue to deliver long, boring lectures and continue to adopt those traditional transmission methods of instruction. And the sixth mistake is using an AI tool to generate teacher-centered lessons where we really want the focus to be on the student and to really develop student agency and ownership over their learning. So they're the pedagogical mistakes that I think we can make with AI. I want to really encourage AI to be used as a tool to enhance learning, to promote inquiry-based learning, to promote curiosity, and to give our students more agency and ownership over their learning while at the same time developing their critical thinking skills. So thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time. Bye.